As the city is geographically divided into small cells, it is mandatory that all cells must be symmetrical in shape. Based on this, we have four geometrical shapes such as circle, square, equilateral triangle and hexagon. If we select the shape of a cell as a circle, then the area between the two circles will not get covered by the base station and any attempt of communication from that area will fail. Thus, we eliminate the circular shape. Hexagon has the highest area as compared to the other two shapes. Thus, we divide the geographical area into hexagonal cells. The next concept is a cluster. A group of cells is called as a cluster. The cluster size is not fixed. It depends on the requirements of the area. Let's study the mobile phone system now. The basic structure of the mobile phone system is as shown where MS means mobile station. BTS is base transceiver station. BSC is base station controller and MSC is mobile switching center. In this diagram MS is nothing but the mobile phone of a user. Every cell has its own base transceiver station at its center. Whenever a call is set up, the first signal is sent to the base transceiver station of the cell. From this base transceiver station, it goes to the central base station controller, which controls the working of all the base stations. From BSC, it then goes to MSC or mobile switching center which is the master controller of the entire system. These MSCs are different for different areas. From MSC of area 1, the signal is transmitted to MSC of area 2, where it follows the reverse sequence as MSC to BSC, BSC to BTS and from BTS to MS. Whenever a user makes an attempt to call someone, a separate channel is assigned to the user by the MSC. If all the channels are already occupied by other users, then this user has to wait for a channel to become free. In such a case, the user gets the notification such as call cannot be completed or network error, etc.